Hey you guys. Um, <laughs> dang it, that darn on my mind. Anyway, I'm off of work for a few days due to an injury. I can't really do a whole lot, but uh, I did come in the garage here just to give you guys a toolbox tour finally. I know it won't be a, the greatest uh, video. You guys are probably looking for more updates on the HP, but there hasn't been any. Other than I drug the bucket of the other lift up here. I haven't drug the um, oh gosh, the vacuum yet, but anyhow, we'll start with the box. I like to call it a mechanics box. Or at least that's what it was always intended to be. It's uh, your standard 26 Craftsman ball bearing grip latch box, top and bottom. You guys have seen it in other videos. That lifts up. You got a few Rock Auto stickers, magnets. The back, you see uh, standard impact sockets. Uh, I believe it's inch and quarter, two, three eighths. Yep. A 12 point 30 millimeter Lyle socket, which I bought because I didn't have the correct one in the set of sockets I bought for axle nuts. Could have bought that and saved myself a bundle, but eh, well, that's how it works. Uh, SK extensions. Majority of them are in there. Um, I think it's from one inch on up to eight or twelve. Then I have the longer ones laying crossed here. A couple snap-on dual 80s. Um, love them. Great. Handy tools. Especially love the long one. Snap-on 3H drive sockets from quarter up to seven eighths. Very handy. Metric set of snap-ons back there. Uh, I want to say they're like 10 to 19. Yep, 10 to 19, or nope, 9 to 19, I'm sorry. 24 millimeter SK, snap-on double jointed universal spark plug socket that I have yet to really use. Wasted money for me, but it was cheap. Some standard half inch drive deep well 12 points, and another, that's a 3 eighths, 1 inch deep from Craftsman. But I bought the flush out some set or use it for something. And the rest of those, some washers. I think where those from now. I have it written on here. Fuel pump wheel parts switch over from plastic wheels. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. This came with, uh, sorry, not in frame. <laughs> this is a quarter inch metric set of deep wells. Snap ons came with my two wrenching drivers. Don't really use it. I used it a lot on the Ford, but that's about it. Snap-on Torx, Snap-on Hex, Blackhawk, Metric Hex. Snap-on two-foot breaker bar. Uh, I've used that twice since I bought it. Need the longer leverage. My extensions, if you guys can see them. Sorry if I'm getting too close sometimes. These are probably some of the handiest tools you'll own. If you pick these up or not, it's up to you. Uh, this is a ratcheting driver with interchangeable tips. Very handy tool. I don't find it as handy as this one with the hex or the quarter inch socket drive on the bottom or the end of it. That is extremely handy. Rather than having a nut driver, you have a ratcheting nut driver with interchangeable sockets. Makes it very handy. I use the living tar out of it on uh, small engines. Yes, I know it looks clean. That's because I keep it clean. Uh, six inch Craftsman half inch drive. These. One, two, three, four, five of them are bolt outs made by Blue Point or turbo sockets for rusted bolts. It's a set of half inch drive 12 point snap ons that I bought for cheap. This is a snap on half inch drive flat so bit socket for flathead screws. Use this quite a bit actually. I uh, bought it more just to have a kind of a complete set of these, or more complete set. And, uh, yeah, been very happy to have that. It's coming very handy over the, since I bought it. Uh, bought this for cheap at a flea market. Is this Armstrong or is this something else? Proto. Proto 5 8 bit socket, half inch drive. I have no real use for it, but it was cheap, so I bought it. Up here is kind of a, a small stuff drawer. My uh, punchins, is chisels, some more, is a snap on. Uh, there's a Mayhew, there's my uh, ball hex, standard Allen wrenches, uh, carbide burrs, another carbide burr, spark tester, air gauges, battery terminal, tread depth gauge, handle for the HB, some feeler gauges, 
points files. Gotta have point files. Tire valve tool for big and small, even though I've never even come across anything that had a giant valve stem in it. Magnets, automatic center punch, another tire valve, flexible magnet, Eric's Car Guys ET light. Yes, I do have one. Another snap on mini driver. This you guys may not know. I don't know if I've ever shown it to you. But what it's for is for cleaning out bores or inside of holes that you need to clean out for a shaft to go through that's a little rough. What you do is you wind up some emery paper all the way around it in the correct direction because this obviously can go both directions. All I did was cut a slot in it with a hacksaw and it works just great. Pick that tr trick up when I was working at a small engine dealer. Uh, another light. Uh, I don't think anything else real notable. Uh, Streamlight Pro again. I have half a dozen of those. And here, a little bit of an oddball setup. Here's a Snap-on Crow Feet Metric. Bought these to work on a buddy's car. He changed his mind on everything after I bought some tools to do it. Kind of pissed me off. Some more bit sockets. These are all the flathead and Phillip ones I have. Some are Snap-on, some are Proto, some are Industro. Kind of a mix there. These are all, are these what, Protos? Yeah. These are my Proto standard size instead of the metric pro feet. I've made use of them a couple times. Valve stem puller. Big long drift punch for anything. Snap on. I bought this for like two bucks at a uh, antique or a antique school house store. Whatever you want to call it. It's kind of cool. Love those things. They're handy. My standard half inch breaker bar, it's only like 18, or no, not even 18, it's like 16 inch. After the one I broke, I bought that one, 3 eighths and half inch. <laughs> now that I'm doing this, I can't think of what the name of the half of this stuff is. Um, speed wrench, speeders. I actually find that I use the half inch for putting wheel caps on, um, like on Chevys that have the threaded wheel cap that goes over the nut. Use that often. The 3 eighths one, I find when I'm running down a lot of fasteners. I'd like to have a quarter inch one, but... I haven't really found a lot of need. Um, bolt extractors. These are the spiral tapered kind. These are the square tapered kind. That is a hole punch set for doing gaskets. This is the Lyle um, strap tool, strap wrench tool for doing filters. Love that thing. That is a half inch drive Craftsman ratchet I got from my grandfather when he passed. I cherish that. Uh, Mac code lock pick set for older GMs. Bought this as cheap insurance. Never needed it, so it still stays here. <laughs> but if I ever need it, I got it. <clears throat> Moving on. Uh, let's see here. Snap on bolt grip puller set. In case you're wondering, it's CJ CJ 201P. This is the newer, slightly updated model. Um, mainly, the difference to me is the case is the versus the old ones. But uh, this is what I use for pulling off flywheels and some different pulleys, uh, steering wheels and harmonic balancers. Very handy tool. I've been missing that bolt since I bought it. I've been meaning to put one in it, never have. Sometimes, depending on the application, these bolts are too short. Even the longest of the long are too short. I don't know if I've ever shown you guys that tool before. I can't think of it. I may have showed that to you on a couple of engines. This you should have seen in my last video. It's my Craftsman Tap and Die set. Like I said, it's just a standard $50 Tap and Die set from Craftsman. Nothing special. Standard sizes. If you have any questions on any of these tools, be sure to let me know. I can definitely give you more info. If you were looking for a part number, that is it. This is the older Main USA set. It's hard to buy the Main USA tools from them now because they're going to China and Taiwan. Which royally pisses me off. What do you do? Plier drawer. Most of my stuff's Craftsman, but some of it's been phased out. These are all the Craftsman ones. This is the Snapper one I got in a set with some other snap ring pliers, hose clamping pliers. You'll know from Snap On. This is for hose clamps, uh, the like the ring band style, the older ones. I've not really been all that impressed with these, so I don't really use them. I found them at flea market. I should buy some newer ones for those, 
I end up just using my standard players yep, for the, uh, the right angle snap on players. Got right vice grips, long nose, regular style, every kind you can find. You, I don't have them all, but Z Bend pliers, great. Uh, I gotta have them for throttle cables. This I found in a junk car, cleaned it up a little bit of the wire wheel, works great. Uh, Wiss or Weiss, tin cutter, whatever you call it. A uh, small pair of channel locks, standard channel locks, first one I ever bought, nut busters, great tool, love those. Very big set of channel locks I bought recently that I've been wanting to buy for a while. They're no, they're not the big as ones, but they are, uh, let's see, 40, I'll pull them out here and take a look. 40, 460? Yep, 460. Gotta have yourself a big pair of chain locks. Can't work without them sometimes. They're just the right tool for the job a lot of times. I wish I could find a pair that big in the nut busters. Sometimes that would be handy. Uh, my wrench drawer. <clears throat> Mostly Craftsman in here. Not all. This actually is the second set of wrenches I owned. Uh, my dad actually bought me a set that went up to one inch. Gave it to a friend of mine uh, as a going away present. Yes, that sounds weird, but I did it because... I'm that type of person. So anyway, I bought these so after that. Uh, this wrench is a 716 3/8 box and William Super Combo. I believe I bought that with a set of wrenches I had picked up or something. This wrench was my grandfather's. It's a 716 Snap-on. It's an older wrench, but I keep it in my toolbox and actually use it quite often. It's handy. Half inch uh, 916 box. Use that as a short one. This is a set of Blackhawk offset box end wrenches. Use them quite often. And that's a holder that came with some macro wrenches I have. Under the bottom box. Screwdriver drawer. I just cleaned this out not so long ago. It's still just kind of a mess. Uh, I have Mayhew pry bars. I use them. They're handy. Got the striking caps. Very good. Uh, let's see. Craftsman is pretty much everything else in here. Except for this one snap-on scraper, which I love because it's short. It's a short handle, so I can have more control versus those long crashing ones I have, which I do use. Uh, there's a couple picks. Uh, these are old ignition tools. This one's a big one, but I don't know if that's actually for ignition. That's what most of them were. There's a smaller version. There is actually a three-piece set to these. I was only able to save a couple of them. So... Unfortunately, that's just how it is. Next drawer. Specialty tool drawer, as I like to call it. Um, this houses my 3 8 torque wrench, my half inch torque wrench, um, Jimmy Bar from Craftsman, flywheel holding tools for Briggs, seal puller that is broken but still works. Um, these two screwdrivers here are um, for Briggs, for the Jets. If you can read that. Made by Pratt Reed. They were probably made by several other companies. This tool here is a jet installation and removal tool or seat, excuse me, not jet, seat for carburetors and comes with Briggs, etc. Um, worth every penny that is. Saves a lot of time. It's I don't think it was like five, six bucks on eBay. Uh, valve lapping tool, which is too big for Briggs and small engines. Snap on valve compressing tool for 350s. Chevy 350 engines. When I bought this several years ago, I thought it actually would work on small engines because the way the picture looked, it was kind of small. Got it here, found out, no way. This is also a seal puller um, designed to hook into the seal. If you can get, yeah, hook it into the seal and pry. Back there are some uh, brake tools for, uh, let's see, this one is for springs. This is for adjusting your adjustment bolt. Another one back there for adjusting, releasing springs, tube bending for brakes, a caliper tool that actually I think could be moved to my one of my other boxes. I forgot that was in here. Yeah, that's a measuring device. It has some instructions. This is how you pull seats out of some carburetors and Briggs. It's just a bolt that is tapped into the jet or the seat, excuse me. Soldering tool. It comes in very handy. You just clip that on either side of where you want to solder to hold things steady. More line clamping tools. Don't use them much now that I have the squeeze one. Uh, there's a couple of brake line cutters in there. 
valve spring compressor for small engines, battery terminal cleaner tool and spreader. This is for testing your pigtails on like light duty pickups. This is a specialty brakes tool that you use for taking off carburetors on doo -doo -doo -doo, vertical engines. Um, does come in handy, but to be honest with you, I think a guy could bend a screwdriver and do it. I've done it with a straight screwdriver and works just as well. The only nice thing about this is that head it bites in really well and holds onto those screws. Uh, these are for fuel lines and AC lines. I use these on my Ford when I did the AC or the fuel lines. They uh, they worked okay. But to be honest with you, I don't think I'd buy them again. I end up using my Lyle ones anyway. This is a battery post puller and windshield puller. Used that one time. Give, got given to me after otherwise. This is for holding up struts on cars. Yes, you can use a vice grip or other means. That just happened to have that because I bought it cheap with some other tools. You'll notice I say that a lot, that I bought it cheap with other tools because I tend to buy a bundle of things at once. I can. Next drawer, Craftsman wrenches, quarter inch up to inch and an eighth. Bought that set because I no longer had the one inch set. That and I thought it'd be nice to go bigger. SK screwdrivers are in here. These are all Torx. I have, uh, well, this is T40. I think I go bigger than that, but we way down to the skinny, skinny. Let's see here. Down to. Let's say T6. Then I have uh, some Allen. I have some Allen screwdrivers. You ever see those? I have a set of them in here. All Allen. Let's see if I can find the name. I forget what these are. Uh, Bridgeport screwdrivers for adjusting your set screws and whatnot on Bridgeports, I guess. Uh, got them from a neighbor when I was cleaning out her garage for her. Hammer drawer or forcing beating drawer. I really like this hammer. Bought this hammer, really happy with it. These other ones I've bought at various other flea markets and whatnot. Kind of handy. This is an old grip brand, which is a cheap tool, but it works great. Never had any problems with it. Yes, I normally avoid cheap tools, but that is not the case in that one. Next drawer, more kind of specialty, extra, and oddball. Uh, let's see here. Flex, or uh, not technically flex, universal impact sockets. Bought that when I was working on the Ford. Ended up not needing the standard so much, but I bought both because I thought, well, I'll have them. A couple strap wrenches I bought a few years back. Come with the bottle cap opener for those of you guys who like that. Handy. Here are the metric uh, universal flex sockets. Both sets are SK. I prefer SK tools a lot of things, especially my impacts. Just that they're a little bit cheaper. Uh, flare wrenches, flare nut wrenches. There's some Snap on, there's some Craftsman, there's some Blackhawk, there's a little bit of everything. These are my Snap Ring pliers. Most of them are Snap on. There's some Blue Point Proto in here. I think yeah, and there's a Mac. Uh, just about every kind you can imagine. Terminal tools I bought and haven't used as of yet. Allen wrenches that came in a set. Ignition wrenches that came in my socket set. Um, spare wrenches, extra metric wrenches. Uh, my snap-on metric flares. My Lyle fuel line installation type tools. Or installation uh, removal, whatever you want to call them. We dig. Down here a little bit. There's SK and Craftsman. There's Proto KT. Uh, what I like to call the fish wrench or the very first uh, adjustable wrench. Kind of looks like a minnow <laughs> or a fish. But I think of this as the very first adjustable wrench. You could put it on any size bolt that you could get this wrench on. There's actually a smaller version of this I have in my uh, other shed. But I don't think there is a name on this thing. U.S. 1 eighth to inch and a quarter LPS Guiler. So, it does have a name. <laughs> Tells you how much I pay attention to that wrench, huh? Oh, that's kind of backward belongs. And 
and on to the air tools. Or my last drawer anyway. Ow. Sorry. That's part of my... I gotta sit down. Uh, that's what happens when you're hurt. You can't do everything awesome. Snap on uh, Impact Wrench Half Inch Drive. It's the newest one. I forget the model number of this. I'm used to know it, but uh, this is actually the quiet version of this wrench. Um, basically, the difference is in the trigger and the. This is where you take the adjustment. Uh, I was supposed to get the other one, but this is what he had on hand at the time, so I took that. I'm happy with it. Works great. Trey did my old one that was broken. I got half price, so it was like $250 for that. I bought this at auction with some other things. Great little torch kit. Comes with uh, a couple different heads, soldering end, things like that. Use the heck out of it. Glad to have it. Ah, there's some solder and stuff. Right angle grinder or air tool, whatever you want to call it. I keep a rush on it. Air hammer that my dad had. It's Ingersoll Rand. All I got is that end for it. I don't use it a ton, but it does come in handy at times. These are popping flywheels once in a while. Um, gotta have your straight die grinder. Got that from dad when he got a new one. So that's that. Uh, a couple pullers. Snap on puller jaws. Another straight mini grinder. I keep my burrs on it. Big aluminum pipe wrench, steel pipe wrench, small pipe wrench. That's pretty much all I keep in this toolbox. <clears throat> that is all I keep in there anyway. Some of it's been moved to another one, so I'll catch you guys later. Uh, look for these videos. I will also do a toolbox tour of my other ones. So please look for all the videos. Thank you very much. Bye.